We're at lesson 3.3e. This is the going further part of the lesson at the back of 3.3, identifying operations, applying subtraction to rational numbers. When solving word problems, we may need to decide if the situation calls for addition or subtraction. Situations involving a total or increase may be modeled using addition. Situations involving change or a difference in quantities may be modeled using subtraction. If we need to write an expression that will fit a word problem, we can look for clue words or phrases that will help us choose the correct operation sign. For addition, we'll see clue words like increase, rise, ascend, total. For subtraction, we'll see decrease, fall, descend, difference. And there's clue words for distance, how far apart, how far traveled, how much hotter, how much colder. So here's our first example. The temperature during the afternoon was 2.1 degrees Celsius. During the night, the temperature lowered by 3.2 degrees Celsius. What was the resulting temperature? Well, the temperature lowered, so it decreased. We subtract the amount of change from the original temperature. We have 2.1 minus 3.2. That's going to be equal to adding the opposite of 2.1 plus a negative 3.2. So we wrote, rewrote our expression as addition of the opposite. They have unlike signs, so we subtract their absolute values to find their difference. It's equal to 1.1. We use the sign of the add-in with the greatest absolute value, we're using this expression, and negative 3.2 is farther from 0 than 2.1, so we're going to use the negative sign for negative 1.1. We know the temperature is negative 1.1 degrees Celsius. That was the resulting temperature. We went from 2.1, we took away the 3.2 and landed at negative 1.1. Here's another one. The coldest night this week was negative 2.75 degrees Celsius. The warmest night was 1.5 degrees Celsius. What was the range in temperature? We can answer the question by finding the difference of the absolute values of the temperatures. This means we'll need to subtract. We have the absolute value of 1.5 minus a negative 2.75. That's equal to the absolute value of 1.5 plus 2.75. We rewrite to add the opposite. This is equal to the absolute value of 4.25, which is 4.25. It's 4 and 25 hundredths. Here we have the 1.5. It's 1 and a half or 1 and 5 tenths. And... Here we have the negative 2.75, which is a negative 2 and 75 hundredths, and the distance between them is 4.25 units. The range in temperature was 4 and 25 hundredths degrees Celsius. 4 and 25 hundredths is the distance between the 1 and 5 tenths and the negative 2 and 75 hundredths. Now keep in mind, for all negative mixed numbers, both the integer and the fractional part are negative. If we have a negative 2 and 1 fourth, there's 0, so that's negative 1, negative 2, negative 2 and 1 fourth. Negative 2 and 1 fourth is equal to a negative 2 plus a negative 1 fourth. A range of values is a distance between the values. A range is the difference between the greatest and least numbers in a set. Bob works about 40 to 45 hours each week. The hours he works each week has a 5-hour range. Between 40 and 45 is a 5-hour range. And since a range is a distance, it must be a positive number. Why is a distance always positive? The word distance means how far the object moves regardless of direction. It's a non-directional quantity. If we ran east or west for two miles, we still ran two miles, 
doesn't matter the direction. If we ran backwards for two miles, we still ran two miles, regardless of which way we were facing. Now, here we need to choose the expression that matches the situation. So, here's our situation. A big rock is at an elevation of 8 and 5 tenths meters, directly above a buried treasure at an elevation of negative 6 and 25 hundredths meters. How far apart are they? Well, we have three expression choices. For the first one, we have a negative 6 and 25 hundredths minus 8 and 5 tenths. If we solve this, we can add the opposite and get a negative 6 and 25 hundredths plus a negative 8 and 5 tenths. We're adding, they have like signs, so the sum is going to be like the add-ins. We add them together and get a negative 14 and 75 hundredths. Is that how far apart they are? If we have a negative 6 and 25 hundredths and we add a positive 8 and 5 tenths, we find the difference between them. We have 8 and 5 tenths minus 6 and 25 hundredths. That's going to give us a positive 2 and 25 hundredths. For this one, we have the absolute value of negative 6 and 25 hundredths minus 8 and 5 tenths. We can add the opposite, turn that into a plus, and make that a negative. Then we've got the absolute value of a negative 6 and 25 hundredths plus a negative 8 and 5 tenths. That would be equal to the absolute value of negative 17 and 75 hundredths. That would give us a positive 14 and 75 hundredths. So for this one, we added the opposite. They had like signs, so the sum was like the add-ins. For this one, they had unlike signs. We found the difference and took the sign of the greater absolute value. And for this one, we added the opposite of their absolute values and used the absolute value of their sum because distances are always positive. Absolute values are always positive. The correct expression that matches this situation is the last one, this one. We've got a big rock at a positive elevation of 8 and 5 tenths. It's directly above a buried treasure that's at an elevation of negative 6 and 25 hundredths meters that it's underground. We added their opposite of their absolute values, and we used the absolute value of their sum because distances are always positive. And it's a distance between the rock and the buried treasure. Okay, we've completed lesson 3.3, and we're going to move on to 3.4. It's split into three parts. The next one is multiplying rational numbers with different signs. If there's anything you take away from this, it should be when you see integer or rational number subtraction, you can add the opposite. Have a wonderful day, and please join me for 3.4. Bye.